Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to today's video. I am sharing a cute Christmas craft, a primitive country Santa decor piece using a mini charcuterie board. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started and let me share how I put together this cutie patootie. I'm using one of the mini charcuterie boards, the round one. Now I picked this up at Hobby Lobby when they had all of their fall stuff 75% off, but as of now, it's 90% off if you can find them. I'm also using some of the faux fur from Hobby Lobby as well as some pit berries, two 20 millimeter uh, jingle bells as well as some greenery. I'm using some red and ivory uh, homespun. I'm also going to use a one inch split ball uh, that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. Now I had this piece of fur because I had cut it for a previous project and I ended I accidentally notched it a little bit and so when you're working with fur and you want to keep that wispiness you want to cut the backing of the fur versus cutting the fur itself and so I get the best result using my box blade now I'm just kind of figuring out here where I want to position the nose and also I'm just kind of taking my time because since I'm gonna have to offset this fur a bit since I want to have the wispiness of the fur in the front and I do not want that notched area kind of you know now this is just particular for my piece of fur that I had. So I'm just kind of showing, uh, sharing things that, that you know, kind of how I work through some things if I want to use this instead of cutting a whole, you know, cutting into the other piece. I'm like, you know what? I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to make this work. All right. So then that's why now I am, you know, kind of just gluing this on right here and then I will I didn't paint it I didn't do anything like that because everything's going to be covered up anyway and these little uh, mini charcuterie boards are so well made anyway and they just make cute little decor or sweet little ornaments like this so then I'll just continue to glue the fur all the way around and uh, like I said because I had a little notched part of the fur I don't even remember what reason that was so that's why I'm just kind of cattywampus just kind of positioning a gluing and tacking my fur on all the way around and it just so happens that it was the right length uh, I just you know figured out how I could put my nose in there without that notch part where that notch part that I messed up on was in the back and that the front was all wispy like a Santa's beard is all right, I just used some E6000 as well as hot glue just to put on my nose uh, because I wanted to have my nose on there before I put my uh, fabric on there because I wanted to make sure that I get the right placement. Now I had a different vision when I first started this. I wanted, I didn't cut my fabric long enough to make a, a taller, I guess, hat. And so I had, before I realized it, I should have, like, I should have really realized it about this part. I'm like, girl, you're not going to have enough of the fabric at the top to bend it over. But I had already gotten too far into the project and I was really, you know, since I was filming this for a video, I didn't want to have to redo it. So I'm just kind of sharing that, you know, something doesn't maybe work out, but just go to plan B sometimes you maybe even need to go to plan C and so uh, I'm just here to encourage you just to give you ideas that you know it doesn't always work out for us creators either all right so another thing that I I'm doing is going to add some stuffing because I want uh, my hat to have a little bit of form so I'm just using uh, fabric fill from um, Walmart or the craft store or whatever uh, but you could use uh, you know anything that maybe you know you would like that which you use for the stuffing so I want to make kind of like more like a tube and so I'm just gluing the hat on here and just making sure that it is all tacked down so that I can you know have like um, something to put my little stuffing in and so again here I probably should have you know said you don't have enough fabric but it's really okay because I really like the way that the end result of my little primitive country Santa turned out so here's when I realized, girl, you do not have enough of the fabric to 
make the hat, you know, fold over the way that, you know, a typical Santa hat does. But like I said, we just went with it. I end up taking a little bit of the stuffing out and saying, oh, nope, that don't work either. So anyway, we're just rolling with it. Okay, so then now what I'm going to do is uh, make my hat a little bit different, different, just have it, you know, up at the top. And so I uh, have some little plastic rubber bands that I got from the Dollar Tree in the like hair accessory uh, section. And I use those all of the time in my craft room. And then I just tie a piece of muslin fabric. I just ripped off a piece of that just to give it uh, kind of, you know, just some fabric at the top. Now for my jingle bells, what I'm using are two of the 20 millimeter jingle bells. And uh, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby when they were offering the rusty jingle bells uh, the smaller size anyway I've had these for a little bit of time so then also to curl the jingle bells on I'm using this brown wire that I got from Michaels it comes on this paddle and I love it because it's brown and it looks almost rusty and you know it just really goes with my primitive country projects okay so then I'm just threading these on and then I'm just going to wrap it around the top and then uh, uh, curl the uh, ends of the wire down just I'm just think I'm using a end of a paintbrush just to curl those down just to give it that wispy rustic country look that I like with my little rusty wire Alright, this next part is a little new to me. Now I'm using some of this fur and also I'm using some grunge mix. That is what is in this jar and I just have a chip brush, a chippy brush to uh, put it on with. Now I'm using my friend Tracy Campbell. She is from My Sweet Home Living. I will have a link to her recipe is something that you make yourself in your kitchen and this has kind of taken the world the primitive country uh, world by storm. I will have a rest. Uh, I will have a link to Tracy's recipe. She's so gracious to, uh, you know, kind of have a cute little printable uh, and a graphic posted for everyone because so many people are interested in grunging up a lot of their different things. Tracy also has an amazing channel. She's on Facebook uh, and she's also on YouTube. So I will have a link to her channel. She does have so many fun primitive country style different you know projects and she just is so amazing with just kind of sharing simplicity uh or simple projects and just has a way of sharing just really makes you feel at ease and makes you feel like yes I can do that too so look for those uh links in the description box below and thank you Tracy for being so gracious in sharing so many wonderful ideas with so many people we love them and everybody just wants to recreate them all right guys so then what I'm doing here is I am just you know putting I'm just grunging this up because I wanted a more uh primitive country looking fur for my Santa and I achieved that look Look with Tracy's grunge mix and I just love it so much again look in the description box for those links so the strip of the fur was a little too wide so I'm just using my box blade and then I'm using this mat that's more of a self healing mat and I'm just cutting it uh, apart a bit and just kind of yeah, I'm using gloves guys I'm using gloves because I don't want all of that grunginess all over my fingers like I did with the candy canes last week uh, anyway but yeah vinyl gloves are a staple in my craft room especially now that I'm you know kind of using all of this grunge mix and just reigniting my love for primitive country crafts like this uh oh I love it all right so then what I'm doing is just you know gluing the fur down and then I'm realizing mm, you know this is way too white so I go ahead and pull out my grunge mix again and then add some of it to that muslin fabric now probably I should have done this you know before I tied it on but you know what we just make do and we just figure out how to make it work 
when we have it on there. I didn't want to have to undo it, untie it. And then I just use my heat tool to kind of uh, dry everything so that it gives it a bit of stiffness. For some decoration, I wanted some little candy canes. So I pulled out one of those uh, pipe cleaners that I grungied up last week in a recent video. I will have a link to that if you would like to see how I do that or how I did that. Anyway, I wanted, uh, I, I put them into, uh, you know, I formed them into candy canes, but they were a little, still a little flimsy. So I pulled out my Stiffen Quick. It's a stiffening spray. And so I just laid uh, my candy canes out on a piece of parchment paper and then just sprayed them with the stiffen quick let them dry and yep we are good to go we are in business so I am just going to decorate uh, kind of like the top of my Santa hat and so I have some greenery and some of those pit berries and then I'm gonna use a couple of those small candy canes uh, just crisscross those just to give me the look that I want of for my little Santa. For a little small bow, I'm using uh, some of this jewelry cording that I get in the jewelry section. And I'm just going to make a two loop bow, just uh, simple, just to put there and glue on the top of my candy canes. For a hanger, I'm just using a piece of that homespun fabric. But first, I wanna add a bit of grunginess to it because first of all, it smells really good. And then second, it just really adds uh, you know, the grunge that we like for our primitive country projects. And if that is not something that you like in your projects, then don't do it. It's just that if you do like that look, which a lot of us do, this is a great way to grunge up any of your primitive country projects. Okay, so then um, I wanted just to kind of share this with you. Uh, I wanted my Santa to hang on a hook and I didn't want his hat to fall forward. So just the way that I made it, I just glued a little bit of it in the back just that so that it would uh, kind of pop up, the, you know, that top part of the hat. And then I'm just going to make um, just a hanger for the back of my Santa so that he hangs nicely. And this is would be so cute on a little hook on a uh, Christmas tree as an ornament on a doorknob just anywhere you want just a little pop of Christmas in your home and also it would make a wonderful gift for someone special and to add a little bit of pizzazz to my Santa I'm gonna add some glitter uh, now this is totally optional of course but I love the little sparkle so I have this uh, diamond glitter from Hobby Lobby and then I'm using this uh, Elmer's Craft Bond spray adhesive just spray some of that on there and then just sprinkle on a little bit of the shimmer and my little primitive country Santa just turned out so cute and I hope that you love him as much as I do thanks for watching guys I appreciate you so much your support of my channel and all of my craftiness is greatly appreciated god bless you we will see you in the next video